Power Director 17, let's take a look at adding text to your video. And I'm really going to take my time with this for the new people. I've grabbed a video and dragged it down to my timeline. But I want to add text to my video to pop up someplace. And as you play your video, you may want to turn around and put it someplace else. You see I got some birds in the scene and maybe I want to add some text to it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over here to the T and you'll see that right there on the left which it says the title room. We're going to click on that. Now you will see a blue arrow that on your screen is probably closed. If you want you can click on that and open that. And you can see here, we're given quite the selection. And if you click on all content, or you can actually have some you've downloaded. I mean, there is a big selection which might be confusing to quite a few people. And a lot of them are animated. But the best thing to do when you start first working with text in PowerDirector 17 is to go with the default one that says there simply grab it and drag it down on where you actually want it to be and you're gonna drag it underneath where your video was you're not putting it on your video nothing like that now we can click our text and then we can go up here and click it and you'll notice that it now gets this screen all the way around it now I can stretch this out and you'll notice that's too big or I can grab it and drag it down but it's not allowing me to just do one corner when you click the title you've added here to the second row up here we're going to click on designer within PowerDirector 17 we can even double click this but I'll click designer and it's going to take me into a whole new screen and I've got fonts and all kinds of toys on the left keep in mind we have these little arrows here if I click that arrow it brings everything up and tightens it up You see that and then I'm given a whole bunch of choices here the very first setting you want to go to is object settings that's where you want to go this is where you want to go first now you'll see where it says maintain aspect ratio down here we want to turn that off and leave it off I wish PowerDirector 17 would automatically have that off but they turn it on all the time now what this does maintain aspect ratio it allows me to really get precise with my box you'll see now I'm not limited to how I want that box to be but if I have maintain aspect ratio on and then I grab this box and try to stretch it out you'll notice it's not so much in the way of controllable keeps it all height and width type but it's not that controllable I always turn the maintain aspect ratio off in PowerDirector 17 so let's say I want this text to pop up in the left so I'm going to grab it and drag it up to the top there and then here's where we can get creative okay I would suggest double click in the box hit your delete key and then type what you want in the box get that done first so we've got our words in there now simply hold your mouse button down and highlight all the words so now they're highlighted so now I can get fancy with this and you want to just open a video in PowerDirector 17 to play with the text and get the hang of this because you are going to use this a lot you really are we can go to effects or motion and I'll just head over to effects and then again we have the arrows up at the top as you can see 
and I click that down and that's going to open our screen. And here's where we can really add some pretty cool looking toys. And you pick the one that you actually want. But if I want different fonts, I would go back to Object. And you see here where it says Character Presets. And it's way up there in the top left there. Click the arrow to open it. And this is really cool. It really makes life easy because it's like one click and boom, we've got a fancy font very quickly. And there's nothing to it. Just pick the one that you like. When you're happy with it, go down to the bottom right and click OK. We've now got the word pretty bird is what we put as text. Text comes in handy if you want to maybe say subscribe to my channel to bring more emphasis to different parts of your video. But you will be using it. Now, you can click this text, and right now it's set to maybe, I don't know, let's have a look at this. Maybe it's got a few frames to it, not too many. If I want to expand that more, and I want that to kind of disappear off the screen, so it kind of blinked, I could basically get the edge. Let me scroll in on that for you. I could just get the edge and expand it out. And that'll give me my text lasting a little longer. So let's click the text again. Let's go back into Designer. And let's say I would like that text to kind of fade away is what I would like. So once I'm in my design mode of PowerDirector 17 and I kind of want the text to fade away, I'm going to go into Effect and you'll see that tab at the very top there. So we're going to go into Effect and then I'm going to choose one of these where I finally come to an end basically. And I could say mm, drop left, drop down, I could evaporate. So let's do an evaporate. That's kind of different. And then just go down and hit OK. So now, when I actually come to the point of my text showing up on the screen, now remember, I didn't do anything to the front end. So it kind of just pops in there, and then it runs through until it gets near the end. And as it gets closer to the end, that's when it creates the dissolve. So that's kind of cool. If I want to do something to the beginning, all I simply got to do is go back into design. And then all we have to do is select something in the beginning. So again, we go into effect. And this time we're going to go into starting effect instead of ending effect. And maybe my starting effect, I'll flow in from the left basically, get a little bit of fanciness, say OK. So now I'm ready to go. And now our text is pretty fancy when it actually comes in and when it exits. I really suggest you play with the default text before you start playing with all the rest. If all you do is the few little things I've showed you here in PowerDirector 17, it's going to be enough to get you by. I even have other videos that you can watch on how to animate your text coming in and actually animate your text coming out. And if you haven't seen my tutorial on how to add your video at the bottom, I'll have a card here to actually send you there and how to actually do it. But this is a very basic tutorial on how to actually play with your text. Always keep in mind that your text is always going below the video here. And if you don't see it, chances are you may have this unchecked here. If that check mark is not on and I come back, 
keep in mind that text is not going to show up. You see that at all? You have to make sure you have a check mark in that box, which means, hey, it's on. And now you're actually going to see your text actually show up. So go to text, which is T on the left, drag the default down underneath your video, and then click it and go into designer and really start playing with text and place them in your videos with PowerDirector 17. Have fun. I'll catch you guys on the next one.